I got a classic too, just like the Fugis, baby. This right here is P C S. Hello, hello. I'm trying to reach a uh, a Roger. This is Roger. Hi, my name is Greg. I'm a PSC. Uh, I got you on my schedule. I'm supposed to come by your house tomorrow morning at about 7.15. I just want to give you a call and uh, give you a heads up and let you know we will be there about 7.15. From my understanding, you go to work you at... Uh, you're, oh, you say you're who? I'm a PSC, sir. I'll be okay. there. I'll be there tomorrow. I got you on my schedule uh, for Monday morning. And I'll be there uh, at least about 7.15. From my understanding, you go to work at 7.30. And uh, my procedure's only going to take a couple minutes, but I wanted to What's just, just kind of give a friendly call and let you know that I will be by there tomorrow morning. What's a PSC? PFC? What you say? A PSC? PSC, sir. PSC. I will be there tomorrow. I've been in business uh, probably for the last, uh, I guess, about 13, 14 years now. What is PSC, specialist? What you do? Oh, you're not, I'm sorry, you're not familiar? Now, how you got me on the schedule? I ain't signed up for nothing. Oh, I got you on my list here. I don't know who put you on here, but you've been paid for and everything for me to come by and, and do my job. And like I said, it only take me a couple minutes and I'll have you on your way. How do you uh, get my number? Say, say again? How did you get my phone number? Sir, everything I have, I got I got 20 stops tomorrow. And I got you scheduled as uh as my uh, as my first stop tomorrow morning. I don't know. I got your phone number. I do have your address. Are you at Drive? Yeah, that's my address, but I'm not scheduled for nobody to come to my house in the morning. I got to go to work in the morning. I'm not going to be here. Right, right. My understanding is, well, you, from my understanding, you pull out about 7.30, and I'm going to get there at 7.15. Like I said, my, the, the, you know, the procedure only takes about two, three minutes, and, and well, I'll be on my way. Who told you about all my information? You know, when I leave home and everything, who is this? Like I say, my name is Greg. I'm a, I'm a PSC, and I'll be there. Okay, you said that already. I, you, you'll see me tomorrow. I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to give you a friendly call here on Sunday and let you know that I'll be there uh, I'll be there about 7.15, and we'll get you taken care of, and then I'll let you get on your way to work. You still ain't telling me what I'm supposed to, what you're supposed to be doing. Sir, a PSC is PSC. I'm a prostate checker, and what I'll be doing is coming in and checking your prostate tomorrow. Oh, hell no. Nah. You ain't coming here to check my prostate. I get my prostate checked by my doctor. Who was who, who you talking about coming to check my prostate? Not in my house you ain't coming to check my uh, prostate. You, I, and, and you know what? I get this all the time. I get a lot of people that, that are in denial, a lot of men that that, that claim that they've, they've got it. my prostate is fine. I really? had my prostate checked just the beginning of this year, man. You don't need to come to my house. Checking my prostate. So a lot of people, a lot of men are in denial saying that they got it checked and they got it. A lot of times we find out they haven't. And, and and there has to be a reason. If I got you on my list and it's paid, somebody has paid $125 for me to come out there and check it. Well, you should be happy you paid $125. This the less job you have to do then because you're not coming to check my prostate. Sir, I'm going to check it. Now, I'm going to be by there tomorrow and at 715, I'm putting my rubber glove on with a little bit of gel on it and I am going to check your prostate and then I'll let you get on to work. Well, I tell you what, that rubber glove ain't going nowhere near me, homeboy. I tell you what, you bring your ass on over to my eyes if you want to. It ain't going to be pretty, and it ain't going to be nice with you in your rubber glove. Sir, Somebody sir. might have had to stick a rubber glove with your ass when I'm done with you. Don't be coming about my eyes talking about taking my prostate. Sir, sir, do you realize that this is the leading cause of black men? Do you realize man, that? I understand that, man. All right, they you got ain't going to my eyes and take my prostate. Three out of five black man. men, three out of five black men are lost every year man, who because is of prostate this, cancer. So you ought to be very grateful that someone is sending me by there to check it and make sure you're okay. I'm grateful that I can pay for a doctor that I go to every, every at once a year, man. You don't have to come to my house talking about sticking no rubber glove up me, man. What's wrong with you? Sir, sir, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. My job is to give you a friendly call and let you know that I'm coming. All right? Yes. Now, tomorrow morning, listen, I don't want to hear any more of it. Tomorrow morning, I'm there at 715, and you're going to get your prostate check whether you like it or not. Well, you bring your on by here, then I shall be here. You buy your bad, thank you bad enough to come over here and check my price. Hey, you buy your on. I'm going to come check on. it. So you just be ready at 7:15 that you're going to get your prostate check. Yeah, I'll be here. I shall be here. I'll let you go on the work zone. Case closed. You come on over here if you want to. You know my address and all my what time I go to work and everything. You you buy your bad on over here if you want to. I don't care if I got to come over there, sir, and hold you down and check your prostate. I'm coming to check your prostate at 7.15 tomorrow morning. Well, I tell you what, you bring your bad on over here, you, you think you know who I am, what I need over here? You come on over here and you do what you got to do. I'm going to be what, over there tomorrow you morning. You're going to be checking something else besides me. You're going to be checking your own. You bring your on over here if you want to see if I don't get you up out of here. I'll be coming to my house with that 
Baby, baby, you, you found somebody talking about I need a prostate check or something? Somebody on the phone talking about I need a prostate or something. You bring your, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll be here when you get here. You bring your I will be there tomorrow at 715 in the morning you with my glove on. You might walk your over here. You might be wheeled away from this. You bring your if you want to. I'm going to have my glove on tomorrow, and I'm going to be checking your prostate at 715 in the morning. Whatever you want to come out checking the prostate, you're going to be checking your own prostate. Because I'm telling you what, I got something for this. You come over here. You bring your bad. You think you're bad enough to come over here and check something over here. You come on with it. I got one come more on thing I need to say to you. Are you listening? Then what the hell you got to say to me now? You told me it's nothing. Then what the hell you got to tell me now? Are you listening to me? This bad on over here. You're going to be in. I'm going to be over there, but I got one more thing I want to say. Are you yeah. listening? What you got to say to me, man? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your homeboy. Oh? <laughs> oh, you? Who you say you was again? <laughs> hey, man, this is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Your homeboy got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Chris Johnson with Steve Harvey, man. <laughs> hey, Tommy, boy. Man. <laughs> you all right, Roger? Boy, y'all about to make me go out. I wonder who the hell gonna come out uh, of somebody out to do a prostate check, <laughs> man, on a regular basis like that, man. <laughs> man, y'all so got me, man. I'm gonna get them back, boy. I, I can't believe he do me like that. I'm gonna go over there and check his prostate. You know, I don't even think he get here checked on a regular. I wanna have somebody come check mine. <laughs> hey, man, I got one more thing to ask you, man. What is, what is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. <laughs> Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> uh, uh.